girl it's the next day i'm at my appointment i'm editing the video now wait <laughs> so this is new york guys 86th street this is the train station there's a target here yeah i didn't even know there was a look at target to the oh west shit side. look at h&m we got an old navy wow i need to get out the house more oh, i'm so out of breath oh we got a steve madden Ulta's all the way down there at the corner east side billings oh steve madden guys i love steve madden shoes and sneakers oh don't have me going there guys foot locker Not a huge fan of Falaka, but I don't hate it. What's this? Horizon? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Victoria! I never figured out what her secret was. You? No? Ulta's over there, guys. Across the street. We are going to go to Ulta. Okay, guys. We are here at Ulta. Let's go inside and see what they got. So this is what I came for and they are sold out. There's no more. They have this video, this, they have this display. Um, look at this eyeshadow palette. This is cute. I don't know if I need this though. Like I feel like I have these shades already in other palettes. What are these? These are Fierce Fairy Tale Six Piece Color Pencil Set. I have color pencils for my eyes. What are these? Lipsticks. We don't need lipsticks. We're wearing masks now, so I don't really. Ooh. Ooh. Now the brush set, I am kind of interested in. How cute is this, right? How much is the brush set? Uh. Doesn't really say here. Oh, $29, six piece eye brush set. This is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my basket. Um, that's the brush set right there. Uh, let's see. I know the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist is supposed to be really good, but I don't know guys, I wasn't a huge fan. Now the Studio Mac Fix Plus, I need a new one. So I am going to get the Prep and Prime, just a regular one. I believe this is the original. Yes, original, does it say original? Yes, I think this is the original. Excuse me, is this the original? Yes. Yes, thank you. That is the original. Okay, this is the Morphe side. We have a lot of palettes. What is this? What is this? Guys, this looks pretty. I don't know, I'm kind of living. What do you think? Should I get this one? I don't know. Look at this like marbleized one. Looks more like a topper. It's giving me euphoria vibes. Guys, and this is where I had to mute the video because they started blasting music and also, and I didn't want to get copyright stricken. So I was unable to um, continue recording my haul. But if you stay tuned to the end of this video, you will see everything that I got from Ulta. So I'm sorry for that, guys. It sucks when they play music in the stores because then you're not able to record because of YouTube guidelines. And this is the New York City um, buses. This is what they look like right now. Um, I guess I can film a little bit outside for you guys as the bus is going. For those of you who've never been to New York City and just want to see. And just want to see outside. That's an automated um, system on the bus. Here's a school. There's like a schoolyard. 
I'm waiting for the bus to move. That is the bus stop right there. Here's Daniel. He's all pooped out. He's tired. Um, yeah, so we're just waiting right now for the bus to move. Okay, guys, so the bus is moving. This is a city bike stand. You see these bikes here? These are city bikes. You can rent those bikes and, like, just ride bike. Of course, not now because it's snowing. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, but, yeah. This is the buildings. I'm going to try to show you the tops of the buildings if I can. It's pretty much what it looks like over here. These are what we call the PJs. This is just public housing, um, affordable housing for low income families. Um, I actually live in affordable housing. I got lucky enough to um, get one because they're not easy to get. I love that store, Save A Lot. I wanna go there. They sell a lot of um, like material to sew and crochet and I really wanna get into crocheting. Uh, Foot Locker, this is also like a shopping center over here as well. This is Dwayne Reed. Find some drugstore makeup in there for sure. We are moving again. Here is Mad Rag. I love to shop there and buy clothes. Hardware store. There's just like a whole shopping place. Rainbows, Dunkin' Donuts. We just have like a whole shopping center. This is another school. Then we have some construction going on in this building here. They're building some type of um, tenant building. There's dominoes over there. Guys, and here is just like restaurants and stuff. Like just eating. Bank of America. Then you have opticals, stuff like that. Supermarkets, bakery, just like a whole shopping, whole bunch of shopping and stuff. So I will see you guys when I get home. We got a ride. We got a, a while before I get there. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. I look crazy, I know. I have some 85% lean beef here. I have some mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. And we're going to make stuffed mozzarella, mozzarella. <laughs> we're gonna make some stuffed mozzarella um, spaghetti meatballs. Um, this is the seasoning. I like it because it's low in sodium. Here I have the mozzarella. I'm just going to open it up with my finger like that. I'm going to take a piece of cheese like that. That's a lot of cheese, but it's okay because I like a nice cheesy mozzarella ball and then I'm just looking around to see if the mozzarella is showing and wherever I can see the mozzarella ball the mozzarella cheese peeking through I will take a little bit of ground meat and just cover up that opening so that it doesn't expose the cheese midway through while it's cooking so that is one mozzarella ball remember this do shrink as they are cooking that one might be a little too big i might have put too much cheese in it but i love mozzarella cheese so then i just stuff the cheese in the middle Close her up. And now we just look around the bowl. We're gonna, so 
soften her out, make sure she doesn't have any openings where she can open up and the cheese can be exposed midway through cooking. There we go, got two balls. And it is me, my husband, and my son. So I usually like to make three cheese balls per person. So let's see how this goes. So I like to keep a nice distance on the edge and just kind of mash up the mozzarella in the middle so that I could get a nice close and I don't have to worry about the mozzarella being exposed midway while it's being cooked. You feel me, girl? You feel me? Okay. I'm not a cooking expert. This is just the way I make mozzarella balls for my family. So here is three. I have a line of three, so it'll be three, three, and three. You must go when we got back home from the appointment. Well, then again, there was no appointment. Last don't go on and daddy's not home. <gasps> you recording? Yes, I'm recording. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine, it's fine. Sorry. It's just showing them how to put uh, mozzarella cheese. <gasps> That's what you making? Oh, God, it's good to me. <laughs> Fresh mozzarella. I took my gallon of water home with me. I see. Is it cold? Can I have it's okay. I can stand here all day and do this for you. I could. <laughs> I love you. That water tastes funny. Uh, no, it tastes funny, that water. What's today? Wednesday? I bought it Monday. No, it's yesterday I bought that. That water's no good. It's not no good, baby. Water's not gonna go bad. That water's not good, I'm telling you. I love it. I drink it all day. Sorry, it's my water. It burned my throat. My husband gave me water to burn my throat, guys. If anything oh, happens Jesus. to me, <laughs> go to Glassworks in Queens. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'm gonna put my noodles to boil, okay? All right, guys, so I'm going to show you what I got from Ulta. My husband will be joining us. All right, let's see. Two bags. One bag. Well, why is it in two bags? Because it's that heavy? Because it was snowing. Because it's that heavy. All right, come on. Let's see it. Let's see. I mean, I've been asking you to see it. So I got the Akai, you baby. Press powder shadow by ColourPop. This one looks so cute, guys. When I swatched it, it was so cute. Excuse my dark eyes, guys. I have not slept last night. I had a hard time sleeping. Look at how cute, guys. You guys see how pretty that is? It has like glitter flecks in it. It's so pretty. Let me see. Item number one. <laughs> and then I got oh, the feeling coconutty. Feeling coconutty. Um, I believe these were $10 each. Yeah, these were $10 each. Do not tell me this eyeshadow is broken because I will cut somebody. Okay, no. That's what this looks like. It's so pretty. I just thought these were nice to keep like in my everyday makeup drawer for when I want to do just a quick look and I don't want to use like a big palette. I'm gonna just use this guy. I restocked. That was item number two. Would you shut up? Oh, sorry. sorry. I just I restocked on my Studio Max Fix Plus because I didn't have any more left. I use this as a like it says prep and prime i don't really use this to prime my face after i put powder i put this and it just turns the powder like more skin like i use this right before i use my setting spray and guys it works 
It's <laughs> number three. Come on, keep them going. I want to see more. Why are you such a hater, babe? I'm not hating. I'm just trying to keep telling. Guys, I saw these, the Warrior 1 and Warrior 2 palettes by Juvia's Place. I am in love with this Warrior 1. I felt like they both complemented each other really well. So let me show you guys. The Warrior 1, this was the last one they had. I was so happy. Look at how pretty it is. I don't know if you could get the full effect. Maybe now. I turned on my vanity lights. I don't think you could really get the full effect. But guys, this is so pretty. Is that the one that, st that stains that don't come off? No. No? Oh. Why are you so negative? I'm not. I just, I remember there was a makeup that All right. stains your eyes or some shit. Um, oh god this is the warrior 2 this one's an all matte palette breaking the packaging hmm? yeah because i can't get inside of it mm. and i i don't remember how much these were honestly guys i don't remember because um, Ulta didn't have any receipt paper, so they had to email me the receipts. These are all mattes. So I thought this was cool, like an all matte palette. That black? Yeah, right there. It's called mm. Shwata. Shwata. <laughs> 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 yeah. Shwata. Who makes these names up? And in honor of Black History Month, Passing. I wanted to support black owned businesses. Um, I got me some Stila glitter shadows. I got the shade Diamond Dust, Wander Lust, and Waterfall. Those are down there. This is Diamond Dust. Let me show you guys. These are expensive. These are like $20 each. But they're so worth it, guys. Like the way they come out on the eye. And they make doing a cut crease like so easy. Nothing wants to open. I know. So that's that color. It's basically like a silver. It's like a silver color. That's what I love about it. It's like a silver color. And this one is like a peachy pink. This one's called Wanderlust. But when you turn it, it shifts. It's like a multi-chrome. Like a, a dual dual like a dual chrome. It goes from like a gold to a pink. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, mm. but it goes from like a gold to a pink. It's very pretty. And then this is waterfall. This one is another, I think this one's a multi-chrome. Hold on, let me see. Is this a multi-chrome or a dual chrome? I think this is a dual chrome. This one goes from like a pink purple to a blue. So I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it goes from like a pink purple to a blue. Very, um, this one gives me mermaid vibes. And I used to buy those a lot and like collect them. I used to get them in TJ Maxx and stuff. But what I find is they dry out pretty fast. The shelf life, shelf life, shelf life. <laughs> the shelf life isn't long on them. So, <laughs> that was funny. so now I only get a few and I, when those go out, I just buy different ones to see what I'm using. My water bottle. <laughs> and then I saw this palette from ColourPop, the Nude Mood, in Ulta. And guys, what was that? Julie, 
Julie. She's in her bed. <laughs> you heard that? What was that? Was that your ass? <laughs> that was not my ass. What was that? <laughs> Why are you laughing? They were asking. Julie? No. Making that noise? No. That's not you? No, me. That's coming from over there. How's that mean? Dandan! There's no speak over there. So the lights flash right now? <laughs> Yo, what the <laughs> hell is going Why are you laughing? Don't think it's that. That's not funny. You guys heard that? Dude, there just be random sounds in our apartment. The door is moving. <laughs> if that's Dandan, Dan, I'm gonna. Dandan! Dan! Oh, I'm gonna kill Dan, this Dan. <laughs> Yo, yo. Are you serious right now? <laughs> <laughs> you scared the crap out of us. You know what Julie's right here? How would she be? <laughs> oh my god. Bro. I wasn't scared. <laughs> I wasn't scared. Mom was like, did you hear that? I saw the door move. I said, yo, the door just moved. I was like, I got to this. I heard you. Chewbacca over there. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I'm getting a heart attack. Oh, my God. This is what I mean, though. This is why. This is why I don't vlog. <laughs> <laughs> this oh. is why I don't vlog, guys. That's why you don't vlog when you have... My husband Kids told me to vlog today. It's like, vlog, you should vlog. I thought it'd be you cool. should vlog. Yeah, real was cool, cool it was. Yeah, my son Chewbacca in the corner over there. <laughs> 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 real cute. Chewbacca. Anyway, this was the nude mood palette that I saw in Ulta. I got to swatch it. I love when you get to swatch palettes because you get to see them perform. And that's always a plus. Look, see how reflective those shades are? This is such a pretty palette, guys. I really like it. Um, I can't believe uh, that, like, I've been gravitating towards nudes lately. You guys notice, like, all these palettes are nudes, right? Yeah. But everything you got is bright, colorful. Yeah. I don't really, don't have, really have nudes. No nude. I have new palettes, but not just really. not really. Oh, guys, and I love these glosses from essence these are the extra shine and let me see if they have a name this is milky way these are the glosses they're called extra shiny then we have crystal clear and then we have pink panther Why my lips naturally just dark like that? Like, whose lips are dark? Lips aren't dark. My lips are dark. Oh my God. Nasty. And then this is the 120 Peach Supercharged by Milani Brightening Under Eye Tint. I love this stuff. I can never find it besides Amazon, and I found it in Ulta. So kudos. Kudos. And look at what I found, guys. I found the Jaclyn Hill. This is the brightening and setting palette um, for under eyes. This is the one that she rants and raves about her team. A lot of them said this was their cult favorite. So we shall see. I think this is my first, is this my first Jaclyn Hill product? No. Makeup product? No. Oh, I have the her Morphe palettes. Yeah, I have like all her Morphe palettes. But I mean from her brand. I think this is my first purchase from her brand because you can never find her stuff. Like her stuff is always sold out. So I was actually shocked to find her stuff. And I think the only reason I found it was because her gondola was all the way in the back of Ulta. Like in the back back. I don't know, I don't know the tea on that, but she was all the way in the back. Lights falling on the display and everything, honey. That's a whole nother, that's a tea for another day. But uh, I went to grab the palette and the light fell on my hand. I was like, what's that? I was like, oh, 
But how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> but they did have the moon powder dust thing there. And I want to try that as well from her line. So there's a couple of things there that I want to try from Jacqueline that they had in stock that I was actually shocked, to be honest with you. Because I've never seen Jacqueline's products in stock. Stocked. <laughs> I've never seen Jacqueline Hill products in stock at Ulta. This was the first time that her gondola was fully stocked. I mean, fully stocked. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, guys, that's everything that I got from Ulta. I am tired. I ate dinner. I'm sorry I didn't show oh, you the stuff. finished product. How was dinner, baby? You liked it? Delicious. Delicious? Mm. Oh, it's very good. Yeah, he's tired. You can see him, he's sleeping. He had a long day at work. I'm tired. And I gotta go back to Manhattan tomorrow because today wasn't my appointment. Let me show you how that went. Of course I have an appointment today. <laughs> so, you guys wanna laugh? <laughs> Cause I'm laughing. Oh. You wanna laugh? I get to my appointment <laughs> that is not close to my house. It's an hour and a half commute to my appointment in the blizzard that you guys saw. Crazy. <sighs> and my appointment isn't today. It's tomorrow. It's when, Daniel? When's my appointment? March 10th, Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Guess what, doctor? I was gonna see a neurologist. So if that doesn't tell you that something ain't right, <laughs> then I don't know <laughs> what the world. <laughs> so now we're just sitting in the clinic, just taking a breather before we go back out into Alaska. To Alaska. It's <laughs> <laughs> like war out there. It's crazy. I but I did help an old lady who needed help translating. So, potato, potato. Kumbaya, kumbalo. I hope you guys are having a better day than I am. For real, for real. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Don't look at my teeth. <laughs>